Hi, I'm Natalie, a judge on the Great Canadian Pottery Throwdown. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I make a bowl. So starting with a wedged ball of clay, I'm going to secure it to my wheel, give it a few smacks in and down to make sure it's stuck on really nice and solid. Then I'm going to speed up the wheel, add some moisture to the surface of the clay, and start centering by applying pressure both on the side and the top of the ball of clay. Next thing we do is we cone the clay up and down to process out any uneven lumps of clay that might be in there. It's sort of like wedging, which is what we do to prepare the clay before we use it. And it aligns the particles really nice and tidy. So coning up and down a few times will really make your life much easier and your throwing experience more successful. For my bowl, once my clay is centered, I'm gonna think about the width of the base of my piece. And I'm gonna go a little wider. So that's just applying a little more pressure on the top than the side. And I'm gonna start slowing down the wheel speed incrementally. And then I'm gonna create my opening. Here, I'm gonna gently create a depression in the center of the ball. You always need to add more moisture. Now I'm gonna stretch that little opening into a little baby bowl shaped opening in the ball of clay. Here, I wanna make sure I'm smoothing and compressing the clay at the bottom. Now, applying pressure from the outside, I'm gonna gently lift the clay up, compressing the rim when I get to the top. Every time my bowl gets a little bit taller, I get a little slower with my speed. A little slower. It's very important you pay attention to how much pressure you're putting on your clay and how fast you move your hands on the wheel, on the clay, because that can make your walls quite even and strong or uneven and weak. Here, I'm going to make sure that I slow down a little more and checking on the thickness of my wall. I'm gonna do one final pull. Just clean off the extra moisture. And the foot. And then add a nice little curve, belly, so that this lovely bowl can be really nice and full of all your delicious food. Once you've got the shape of that belly in, your bowl is done. There you go.